Hi, so today I wanted to share with you, I have so many good dupes for Lush. Now, I know everyone knows what Lush is, and Lush is super expensive, but I do like their products. They're really nice. But anyways, I found a company, well, a business, a self-owned business by this lady that I know that makes her own soaps and lotion bars and chapstick. So I have like a little card here that I'm reading off of, so I'm sorry. Her um, business is called Beauty from Ashes by the Soap Commoner, and she has a Facebook, so I will have her Facebook link down below where you can check out her stuff. But for right now, I wanted to show you and share with you some of the things that she sells and stuff. So, Lush can vary depending on what it is, like their prices. But, so this is a Lush lotion bar that I have. And Lush lotion bars range from $7.95 to $12.95 in price. This one that I got, I got for Christmas for my dad, but I'm pretty sure this was one of the ones that was $12.95, if I'm not mistaken. So, it's like a lemon scent, which I really like it, um, but her lotion bars that she makes are only, the small ones are two, and then the big ones are three. So, I have a small one and a big one here to show you today. So, the small one I have, I think this is a eucalyptus mint, um, this is what it looks like, it's really cute. And then I have a bigger heart one. I don't know what this is. It smells just natural like shea butter. It might not be scented. Like it might be unscented. But I really like it. Anyways. So I have tried both lotion bars. And I think that they're both really similar. And they're very comparable. I don't see if like, there's any reason why you have to purchase the Lush one rather than hers because I think honestly they're the same in quality and like she does all scents and stuff too so like if you love a scent from Lush like she probably has one very similar um I love hers I don't think that they're greasy at all like some lotion bars that I know are super super greasy like the Lush one sometimes can get so greasy and it just like I don't like how it sits on your skin because it's just so greasy like it, it and also the lush one like crumbles really easy and it falls apart so um I think they're both really smooth they're really they do like hydrate your skin they do what they're supposed to do so I think for the price difference you should go and check out her stuff because it's way better than lush prices and honestly if you compare the size of this bar because like it's like thin. If you compare the size of this bar, I mean, you probably get a little bit more product, but if you compare it to the size of the stinking hearts, the big ones that she has, it's like the same amount of product for way cheaper. That's like, at least, well, if you get the ones that are $12.95, that's like more than a fourth of the price. Like, it's only a fourth of the price of the Lush one. Okay, so then the next thing I want to talk about is bar soap. I actually do not have any Lush bar soaps to share with you today and show you because of two reasons. One, they're really expensive. Um, and two, I tried one in store and I didn't, and like I thought it was just like any other regular bar soap. Like they look cool and they smell nice. Like I do, I do, like I can say that they have nice smells and they smell way different than any like store bought soap. But honestly, Lush soaps are like just your regular soap. Like there's nothing that special about them except for the scent and the fact that it's hyped up so it's going to be pricey. Me and my mom were going to purchase the honey beeswax one that they have. It's like called, it's like a honey one. It has like a layer of like honeycomb on the top of it. Like a three and a half ounce bar, which I actually don't know how big that is. Like I could not tell you how much three and a half ounces is, but one of those bars was going to cost like 12 something. I was like, um, no. So their, their bars that you can order online rather than in store for a 3.5 ounce bar. They range between $6.95 and $13.95. Now in store they have different cuts and different sizes of bars you can get, so obviously they can get way more expensive, but we're comparing their 
like their regular, like lowest, cheapest size bar. That is a huge price difference. Now hers, um, by the way, her name is Joan Chapman that has the business. Hers are only $3. So I have a few to show you today. This one is a sample that I got. It's just a vanilla bean and I love it. I love vanilla bean. So that's what this one looks like. It's just like a nice brown one, but I'll show you. This one is orange and oh, it smells so good. She uses all natural ingredients and all essential oils and stuff like that to um, scent her soaps and then she uses like different dyes to color them. And then this one is mango. She like, she also cuts them, she'll either crinkle cut them or she'll like flat cut them. So I think that's cool. And also, she has a couple of soap molds too to make different shapes out of them, which I think that's really awesome. But I, what I really like is that all of her soaps are like, they all look different. They're not just like white bars of soap that have scents in them, because some people that make soap do that. Hers are like nicely colored, like they're aesthetically pleasing, they, like the color matches like the scents, like this is orange and then this is like mango. Get me? Also, can I just talk about, okay, her soaps, when you feel them at all, they're really stiff and hard and they are not greasy at all. A lot of soaps that I pick up, like after a while, they like, they, 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 they sorry, there's like a bug flying around me. They have some grease to them, like when you touch them, and I hate that. This one is strawberry, and, or no, excuse me, this is watermelon, and oh my goodness, this one smells so good. I love watermelon. So this is her watermelon bar, and then I have one more. I think this is a blueberry cobbler bar. I, it's definitely blueberry something, but... And it just has a little glitter in it. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you can. It has glitter in it. It's really cute. I love her soaps. And she... I've, I've obviously opened all the packages. But these ones I haven't used. But she... Like, she has, like, nice little, like, packages with labels on them. They're really nice. So, I love her soaps. And I think you should definitely go check them out. The last thing I want to talk about is... This is not, like, a lush dupe. But it's definitely, a like... Thing. So this is Burt's Bees Chapstick and this retails for $3.29 um, for one. Now this is her chapstick and she sells it for $2. This scent that I have is wintergreen. Also can we just look at the little label? It's really cute. It has sparkly washi tape and then it just has the scent. So this is her chapstick. It's just like, it's a nice chapstick. The scent is really good and when you put it on, it's really nice and smooth. It's very smooth, very hydrating. I find that, like, some chapsticks, when I put them on, I'm so confused because they dry out my lips and, like, that's not the point of a chapstick. But hers definitely moisturize and hydrate your lips. Burt's Bees does that too, but there's something about Burt's Bees that I hate. It's that the chapstick is not smooth. It's like, it gets all grainy and then it leaves like the little grains on your lips and I'm like what am I supposed to do with this? Now I have to like go like this a bunch to like get all the grains out so <sighs> I don't know. Hers stays smooth, there's no graininess that doesn't happen so again for $1.29 cheaper why not get hers rather than Burt's Bees or any other type of chapstick. There's like lots of chapsticks on the market like EOS they dry out my lips when I use them, and I'm really confused because that's like not the point of a chapstick. Like, here I have this EOS like stick bomb, and it's it dries out my lips, and I just don't understand like why chapstick does that. But anyways, I don't know how much this retails. I know in a two pack it's $5.99, so if it's $5.99, then it probably has to be more expensive than half the price because if you buy two there's usually like a little bit of a deal like a few cents off like maybe 50 cents off so this has to be like at least three dollars and fifty cents or something but anyways that's what i have to say i wanted to share that with you um please go check out her website It'll, i'll have it linked in the description box I love her soap, I love her products, and I think that you should definitely go check them out. Especially if you're one of those people that likes Lush, but you don't want to spend the money on it, I have a great alternative for you. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.